David here with Figboot on pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you the latest release from Shown Design. Uh, the company has consistently produced some very cool and unique pens, and what I have to show you today is no different. It is what they are calling their full-sized fountain pen. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Shown Design for providing this pen for review. Uh, in the past, Shown Design has produced a number of smaller pens, uh, but then recently they began producing some larger pens. And when I say larger, it's in comparison to their smaller models like the Pocket 6. Um, I reviewed a few different variations of uh, that model. In regard to the larger models, there were two that I reviewed that were made from unique materials. There was the Ultim as well as the Peak. And what I have for you today is their first pen of that size made from aluminum. The pen arrives in this simple plastic box. Um, inside, there is actually some information about the company. Uh, they are based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, there's some information here that includes a little drawing of Pocky, the company mascot, along with Gritty, who's the official mascot of the Philadelphia Flyers hockey team. Uh, then we have a couple other stickers featuring Pocky. Um, I always get a kick out of uh, this sticker whenever I see it. It's a take on one of the album covers of one of my favorite Southern California rock bands, The Descendants. Uh, the name of the album is called Milo Goes to College because after the recording of this album, the lead singer Milo Ackerman decided to leave the band to pursue a degree in biochemistry at the University of uh, California, San Diego, a place I know very well. Now, Milo eventually earned a doctorate and returned to the band, but that's a bit of a longer story. Uh, what's more important here is the pen, and that is what is here. And it is called the Shown Design Full-Sized Fountain Pen. Uh, as I mentioned previously, this pen is made from aluminum and has an anodized exterior. The pen is currently available in 15 different color variations. Um, I'll kind of show them here rather quickly, uh, but they do have some interesting names, which aren't going to coordinate with what you're seeing here on the screen, but they have names like Bubblegum, Aqua Jazz, Cherry Garcia, Film Noir, Regal Smoke, and FedEx Confetti, just to name a few. Now, I know those went by rather quickly, but you might have noticed that this teal and silver and black model I have here was missing. Uh, that's because this is a version which doesn't have a name yet and is yet to be released and added to the site, but it will be in the near future. Um, I do care for the randomness of this colorway. I think the combination of silver and black and teal is really pleasing to the eye. Uh, the other color schemes look great as well, but I kind of like this one more than the others. Hopefully it's available soon. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the cap. It comes to a rounded point, which isn't sharp at all. The pen is clipless. The cap angles up very slightly from beginning to end, only about eight tenths of a millimeter. Then at the end of the cap, we have a couple of things. First of all, it's engraved with the company name, uh, but then there's also this shooting star. Uh, this symbol is a glyph. Uh, there are going to be 13 random glyphs machined on the pens. Uh, they don't match the colors, and unless you purchase a pen at a show, you're not going to be able to choose your glyph. It's a, a random process. But there are some more rare than others. Uh, on the product shots here, you can see a heart, and then there's an arrow, uh, and then there's even a Harry Potter Deathly Hollows symbol. Uh, like I said before, there's going to be a total of 13, and at a later date, these are actually going to be used as an indication of the date of manufacture, which is a fun way to date a pen. Uh, at the end of the cap, there is a very small step down to the barrel, which is straight until about this point where it tapers down for the last inch and a half or so. And the end of the barrel, like the top of the cap, comes to a rounded point. The cap twists off with just over two rotations. And underneath, we have a stainless steel Yovo number no. 6 nib. The nibs are available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, a 1.1 stub, as well as a 1.5 stub. Uh, at an additional cost, gold nibs are also available. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, the section is concave, and then it transitions into the threads and a step up to the remainder of the barrel. 
Um, I do care for the shape of this section. I like how uh, the anodization is on it as well. Um, I find it that it's comfortable. It's not the longest section, so my grip tends to spill over to the threads, which I don't find to be overly sharp or biting. Uh, the cap does post. It doesn't post that deeply, but it is secure. There's an O-ring on the cap, which aids in keeping it affixed. Uh, there is some metal-on-metal -metal contact going on here, so over time I would expect that that could cause some wear. So keep that in mind if you choose to post. But I do find the pen long enough to use comfortably unposted as well. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a Schmidt K5 converter is provided. A, a nice little touch here is that the anodization extends to a portion of the section only visible when you're inking this pen. I thought that was a neat little addition. Uh, something else that's neat is that the parts for this pen are interchangeable with Shown Design's Engineered Plastics series, comprised of the Ultim and Peak models that I previously reviewed. You can purchase spare parts from that series to accommodate like a rollerball or even a Bach 380 nib, which is a number 8 size. Uh, the fact that this relatively small pen can accommodate a Bach 380 is pretty cool. The Shown Design full-sized fountain pen is only available on the company's website. I'll put a link to it in notes below this video. Uh, it retails for $195. Uh, the pen of this size in the engineered plastics line sell for $250. So it's nice these aluminum models are priced a bit less. And I don't feel that $195 is excessive for this pen. And it fits in with the pricing of uh, the rest of Shown Design's offerings, which I would encourage you to check out as well. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Okay, here we have some size comparisons for the Shown Design full-size fountain pen. Uh, in regard to some other Shown Design models, I mentioned some of the engineered materials series. Uh, this one here is the Peak, and you can see that that's the same size, uh, as well as the Ultim model. You can see that's the same size as well. Uh, and then here is one of the Pocket 6 models, uh, and this one is uh, faceted. In regard to some other metal pens, here it is with a Keras Custom ink. Uh, here it is with a spoke design icon. Uh, and then finally, here is a pen from Matthew Martin, and this is the OG Chonk. You can see it's significantly larger. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, uh, this is what it looks like with the spoke icon. Uh, here it is with the Keras Custom Ink. And then in regard to the Pocket 6, you actually need to post it. And that's what it looks like in comparison. You see it's actually larger than the full-size pen once that it's posted. Okay, here we go with the writing sample for the shown design. And this is the full-size fountain pen. This is a medium stainless steel nib, and the ink I'm using, just because I thought it matched well with this pen, is one of my favorite inks from this past year, which is Stilo and Stile. Roman Bronze. Uh, oxidation. This is what the ink looks like. It's a really nice kind of uh, bluish teal. Uh, it looks very similar to Leonardo Smeraldo. Uh, and then this is what it looks like with a, another teal, which is Monteverde's DC Super Show teal from uh, 2019. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, I like the looks of the bottle. I just wish it was a little bit deeper and held a little bit more ink, but it's a really nice ink if you can get your hands on it. And now for the rest of the writing sample, Thank you. 
this medium Yovo nib uh, performs very nicely. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of line variation out of it. Um, but I do find the ink flow on this medium nib to be decent in regard to reverse writing. It's a little bit hit and miss there, but in regard to some fast writing, there's no issue with the feed keeping up at all. So there we have the Shown Design full-sized fountain pen. I think that this is a great addition to the Shown Design lineup, uh, that there are tons of variations of this model. So uh, there's one out there that'll probably fit your personal tastes. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.